Let's take a look at how we can create a spanned volume in Windows 11. Here we see Windows 11. I'll click on the search box and I'm going to type in computer management. Or if I did, you would see the option to open computer management. And I've already opened it down here, so I'll just go ahead and open it up. So once you're in computer management, make sure you go over to the left where it says storage and then disk management. Now, if you've plugged in some drives but haven't done anything with them yet, or you'd like to do something with them now, such as creating a spanned volume, then you can see the option to do so. So I'll right click and choose new spanned volume. Now you'll see other options as well. There's a simple volume for just a single drive. There's a striped volume, which I'll explain in a little bit. There's a mirrored volume, which gives you redundancy by mirroring data from one drive to another. And then it shows grayed out RAID 5. It's grayed out because it's not possible to do on a desktop operating system. You can only do it on a server operating system. There is a way around that, and that is if you're using a hardware RAID card. Then you can do any type of RAID that supported on the card or on the motherboard if you do it prior to installing the operating system. It'll have its own little GUI management interface that you set up prior to installing Windows 11. So what we're going to do in this particular video is create a spanned volume. So I'll choose the spanned volume option. Wizard comes up and I'm going to choose all three drives. You don't have to choose them all, but I'm going to choose them all. Click next. And I'm going to choose the E drive. If you mount it in the uh, following MTNTFS folder, basically all that does is it gives additional storage to, say, your C drive. If you want that, if you need that, you can do that. Otherwise, uh, you can choose Do Not Assign a Drive Letter, which you can do later. I'm going to choose the E drive and click Next. NTF is the only file system that's supported. I'm going to choose a quick format. And if you'd like to double the amount of space available, you can choose Enable File and Folder Compression, but that ends up slowing things down, so I'm not going to do that. Click Next and click Finish. Now it's prompting me to say, hey, it's going to use what's called dynamic disk, uh, disks for this, which is fine. I'll just go ahead and click Yes. It's a special Microsoft type of format. And we're going to see the color change here in a second when our spanned drive is done, then we'll talk about what a span drive is. Now we see this purple looking span drive. If I click on File Explorer, we can see there's our drive and it's got 14.9 gigabytes free. I can go in, I can create new files, move files, create folders, etc. Now, what's a span drive? Let's take a look. So I've created this kind of crude drawing just to show you the difference between a spanned and a striped volume because they're very similar. I've already explained what the other ones are, but not these two yet. So a spanned volume, what it does is it takes data. So you can see file one, file two, file three. Let's say file one is going to fill up the entire hard drive. And then file two will fill up the second hard drive and file three, the third hard drive. Those are just really big files. So what happens is, is the drives get stacked on top of each other. So that you can use, say, drive one can be one terabyte. Drive two could be two terabytes. Drive three could be any size you want. It doesn't matter. Span drive doesn't care care. And it keeps stacking on. You can add additional drives later if you want. It's not fixed to just these three drives. So if you need more space, you can get it. However, there is no redundancy. So if one drive fails, then it's potential you're going to lose all of your data. So uh, there is that risk. You definitely don't want to use it if you haven't backed up your data. Now, the striped volume is a little bit different. What it does is it puts a little bit of each one of the files uh, onto each drive. So, for instance, file 1, 2, and 3 you see are on all three drives. So this runs faster than, it, than a spanned volume does. However, it has a limitation, and that is that it can only use the exact same size drive for all the drives you use. So if I'm using uh, three drives and they're, the first one's one terabyte, they all three have to be one terabyte. You cannot mix and match sizes like you can with spanned. Now, striped also does not have redundancy. The only redundancy you're going to get in Windows 11 is a mirrored type of drive, which I created a special video for in this playlist. So if you don't need redundancy, you just want speed like a fast gaming computer or whatever it is, then Striped would be the way to go with Windows 11. Now, better than all these would be a hardware RAID like I discussed earlier. Hardware RAID is definitely faster than what this is, which is called software RAID. But this does give you that capability if you need it.